This is a basic turbojet engine. The speed, size, and color of the bars represent the speed, volume, and temperature of the air going through the engine. The blades on the left side of the engine are the compressor. They bring in air and increase its pressure. The air makes a curving zigzag pattern as it moves through the compressor as it bounces off moving compressor blades and stationary stator blades. After that is a set of combustors which combines a fine spray of fuel with the right amount of air and then ignites it to create a large increase in temperature and velocity of the air inside the engine. Then the energy given to the air by the combustors is transferred to the turbines to help drive the compressor again. Last, the exhaust leaves the engine at a higher velocity than the air that entered the engine, which due to Newton's second law pushes the plane forward. Turbojets can also have afterburners where additional fuel is dumped into the exhaust to produce more thrust. A lot of engines are built with two sets of compressors and turbines, attached to two separate spools which each run the length of the engine. This is a more effective way to increase compression than simply adding more blades to a single spool compressor. Another common type of gas turbine engines are turbofan engines. This kind of engine has a bypass where the air is pushed only by the first blade or two of the compressor, which is attached to the outer spool of the compressor. There may also be a second combustor or burner in the bypass.